Like there's like lots of artists that are kind of in the DIY scene as well that like I looked up to a lot when we started, like Frankie Cosmos, like Radiator Hospital, like those are those bands were some of the first like DIY shows I ever saw. And yeah. so I think I was definitely influenced a lot by like those bands and like other like kind of like punk, like lo fi fun bands, but also like Cher and like yeah. like early Taylor Swift only because like her songwriting was actually like so interesting like like or not like I really like her songwriting structures and stuff and I think that her lyricism is impressive like back in the day um, yeah. yeah we definitely listened to a lot of pop in the, yeah. in the van and like old like old fall boy pop mm. punk kind of stuff mm. um, but yeah just like I don't know it's just like a big range of it's whatever we're feeling it's kind of just we don't really have Where's like we haven't pigeonholed ourselves yeah, yeah. It feels really good. Yeah, <laughs> it, out. your yeah. action's been great. It's yeah. like, it feels amazing to have like written this thing that people, that like resonates with people. Mm -hmm. We were really stoked to see everyone was like also so stoked. Yeah, no, it feels good to have like a full length record. We've just been touring with the, the Over Easy EP, with, so we've been playing like, I don't know, like seven songs a night. <laughs> and we just like now finally have enough songs to play a longer show, so it's it's been fun. Ooh. What's the book that you just finished and I'm reading? I don't even know what it's called. Oh, it's a Margaret Atwood book called The Heart Goes Last. Yeah. It's really good. It's like, you know, her usual like dystopian future business, but it's like, it's real freaky. I just finished it and Noah. I just started it. So which I'm, is impressive because Noah doesn't read I don't really read a lot of books. I just like, I don't know, I always fall asleep. But no offense <laughs> to library. Libraries are great. <laughs> I love the book Widow Basquiat, which is about like Suzanne, who was um, Jean Michel Basquiat's like, lover throughout his career and it kind of was like her side of the story and like she was also an artist and it was like really an interesting take on like New York City and the time that they were there and like I don't know it was cool to hear her side of everything and it was like really well written. So. It's awesome it's yeah. like I didn't know what to expect when I yeah. walked in I don't know I just like library I just I don't know just like haven't been in a library since I was like in school and like walking in and being like Oh, we're playing it. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be this big either. So it's pretty um, cool. I think it's really cool to like use this public space like after hours because like libraries are such like an accessible all ages kind of community space, which is awesome during the day. But it's really cool that like at night it can also have like cultural events and like music and like rock and roll stuff. So sweet. Yeah. Don't be afraid to fuck up. Yeah, it's Just, okay to suck when you start, yeah. and even after you start, or like. It's okay to not be like perfect it's all the time. Yeah. Also, don't compare yourself to other bands because you can just like really get in a hole just like comparing yourself to others and like just be yourself and don't worry about like your thing compared to other bands' things. Yeah. And have fun. It's yeah. a fun thing. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, for sure.